Hey, what's up everybody? This is Classic Cars and Comics. And in this episode of Frame My Action Figure, I'm going to be walking y'all through the process of how I frame action figures. So let's just roll the bumper right here and we'll roll into sort of where I go and what I buy. Roll it! Oh, back again. Okay, so I have framed numerous action figures over the years uh, for displaying in the man cave, the bats cave, if you will. I'm going to show you a couple different formats that I use whenever I go to frame an action figure. For today's video, primarily we're looking at framing these Wolverine figures in the same box. Now in this 10 by 13 it is crammed for space, okay? They're gonna be very tight in there. They're gonna be very much like some action figures I'm gonna show you here in a minute. But this is what I chose to minimize space and frame them in there in a nice neat form, okay? But I went to uh, Hobby Lobby by and large for all my framing needs. Now, I'll show you how I framed something else sh shortly. I went to Michael's for it and used a frame that a lot of people use for their pop figures, but I will show you um, how I framed that uh, here in just a, a minute or two. But uh, primarily, this is what I use for all my framing of my action figures. So we'll show y'all a couple of the other things that I framed real quick and then I'll roll into framing these two figures in the same box for you. Okay, so this is a Super Powers figure that uh, I framed a while back. Now this is not in a 10 by 13. This one fits perfectly in an 8 by 10 uh, shadow box from Hobby Lobby. You can see that this one was originally purchased from Kmart for $1. Uh, it was originally probably a $3.37 action figure and I guess it got clearance probably at a dollar. Ah, good lord, buying that figure for a dollar, um, it's way more expensive than a dollar now, but um, let me spin this around. It's a nice little display case, and you can see that uh, it is an eight by 10. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Let me move this down. So, it's an eight by 10 frame, and that's a 20 by 25 centimeter. $24.99 okay so for 25 bucks you can get that frame but every other week uh, they run their shadow boxes and stuff half off so that means for $12.50 plus applicable tax you can buy this this frame that is cheaper than any other frame that you're ever possibly going to find for this type of action figure now if you have some of the thicker superpowers action figures the thicker bubble on there, they're not going to fit in this, okay? You're going to have to go to um, a different style of case to be able to fit the thicker bubbles in there. But for these slimmer bubbles and cards, this frame works perfectly for those. It's a really nice, crisp, clean um, display case for those. Let me move this one out of the way and I will show you some other stuff that I framed. Okay, this is the Batman figures from the 1989 movie little bit crammed for space in here I know um, we could have moved to a little bit larger case and displayed those cards full well you know you could have had the whole Joker's face on there and everything else so I completely understand that we're a little pressed for space okay but as you've seen the bats cave you know that I've got a minute I gotta maximize my space if you will you know so I just chose to do this uh, in those. I would really like to have the Joker art in there, but I'd have to move to a bigger frame to accompany that, and then it wouldn't set flush. There would be some gap at the top. Okay, and this is a larger card and bubble, and this is a 10 by 13, and that's a, you know, a figure standing straight up, just uh, you know, dominating the one case. So I believe this frame is a little bit thicker. It looks thicker than my other 10 by 13 yeah it's a it's a bigger case but somehow still shows to be 10 by 13 um, but it, you can see it slightly well no you can't see but I can 
Um, it is slightly different. Let me just lift up the. It is slightly different in size. Um, it's a little bit deeper uh, to accommodate those bigger figures. And this one's a little bit more expensive too. I think it's like 35 bucks or something like that. But okay, this is the one other thing that I framed um, using. I used Michaels for this one. This one right here, as you can see in the shadow. Uh, a lot of people use this baseball bat display case for just their pops. Um, I bought two of the Batman uh, 66 pops to display with this Batman 66 worn by Adam West, uh, his belt. So I come up with this idea just out of uh, out of my head, I guess, and uh, decided, hey, this would be really cool to frame the bat belt. And this is before I even had the bat cave. Um, but uh, I just come up with this idea and then along the process found the pops put those in there because I thought it would tie it all together and then I also I believe it was at Michael's as well let me tilt this back a little bit um, this batarang also came with that bat belt and I framed it in a 12 by 12 took a 12 by 12 piece of uh, oh uh, what is that called it's um, like the scrapbooking paper and just use that as the background and frame the battering right above the bat belt. Booyah! And then that is a Lego store display that I didn't have to frame at all. Okay, so there's a little bit of stuff I'm going to do before I get the figures put in here. Um, and I'm going to be using some glass cleaner to clean the glass on the probably the inside and outside. Uh, and then uh, it'll be just a matter of getting those figures set in there. So I'm going to back the camera up a little bit, take the microphone off, and uh, we will speed through um, me doing all this work. Now I'm going to put the uh, needles in my uh, approved sharps container. Safety first every time like I said before if you're not d drinking Diet Mountain Dew folks you're doing it wrong I've been looking for the other needle I finally found it there we go there's six that'll do okay so this is going to be a little bit of a tight fit like I explained before but I'm going to show you how I put in my action figures and it'll take me a minute to figure out exactly how I want them in there but we'll get it done All right, this is what the finished product looks like. I think it displays really well, especially since it's the same figures or, you know, as long as you got figures in a line, you know, that the same line that you like or whatever it may be. Uh, I think this works out really, really well. I haven't lost any space in the interior right there. Also was able to slot the cards sort of, there's two gap, there's two like uh, creases that run in here to be able to put your board in for the, the shadow box. One, if, if it's not something that's taking up much room on the interior, you could slot it onto the interior slot. And then uh, if it if it is bigger, like this is, uh, you can slot it back. I'll flip that around here in just a second to show you, but um, this really displays really well in my opinion. Um, you could have went with a little bit bigger one if you wanted to have some separation with the figures. But for my intentions and everything, this works out really well. Um, I had already, I uh, sort of mocked this up last night before I went out and bought another 10 by 13 frame. Uh, so I knew what it was going to look like, but uh, I really like this. I think it turned out really well. It's got both of my Wolverine figures now um, back, you know, it, safe, protected, if you will, and uh, out of harm's way. So thank you all very, very much for watching. Like I said, I'll flip this around real quick and show you um, sort of what I'm talking about here. So if you can see where these little clips are, there's a track that runs along the inside right here. And in that track, there's two of them. There's this outer one, and there's another one that's a little bit further inset. Uh, so depending upon the size of the action figure or, you know, graded comic book or whatever you're putting in here, um, you'll be able to, uh, you know, get that to fit. And because I believe a graded comic book will also fit in here 
if it's not this one it's my other one that I had I know it'll fit in one of them I've done it before you can just go back and watch one of my previous videos to where I talked about frame and action figures I could have pulled down the first appearance of Wolverine I guess and showed you what that looked like in there but I didn't because I didn't think about it so anyways really cool glad I did it hope y'all learned something if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to ask I don't work for Hobby Lobby or Michaels or anybody else I don't work for the Sprayway world's best glass cleaner with foaming action I don't work for them either uh, just hey if they want to pay me some money man I'm all about that baby but I don't work for them so um, anyways thank you all very much for wa watching hope you learned something uh, like subscribe comment um, whatever you want to do uh, but I hope this was beneficial and helpful love you long time Thank you.